Threadfin salmon have been found to be genetically different in all the locations you'll find them all across Australia. I used to hunt threadies in the Brisbane River and I used to look for them in water between 8 and 16 metres deep in shipping channels and up against wharves and pylons and all sorts of stuff. And I came to Northern Australia, looked for them in the same areas but they're nowhere to be found. Science has proven that generic strains act very differently from one another and they can be separated by only hundreds of kilometres. Weeper is very much the same. The threadies in Weeper are completely different to the threadies in other parts of Australia, especially the southern parts around Brisbane, Gladstone and areas like that. If you're fishing Cape York and in particular Weeper and you want to learn how to catch threadies, then check this out. My son Cody came up for a visit and he is a thready gun and this is all about just two sessions that I spent with Cody and his, and his little sister's doing a great job on the net and he teaches you exactly how he does it and it's very different to what most people do when they chase threadies so check this out. That's it. That's got him. Another threadfin salmon. It's on this little three inch gulp. We got six pound mainline. 25 pound leader. Yeah, that's all you need. Go pretty hard. Drive the head into the net. That's got it. <laughs> Big threaty. That's fantastic. Okay, drive it in, somewhere lift it, lift it, that, that's it. <laughs> Number three. Christian Seven Weeper. We're only in a metre and a half of water. Just bouncing that little grub off the bottom. Yeah. And what number is this? This is three. Number three. It's about half an hour. Yeah, all good size. Yeah, they're great. Love your work. Cody just gave away his secret right there. Did you hear what he said? He said he's bouncing that jig head along the bottom. See, threadfin salmon are a lot different to blue salmon. Blue salmon have four little flutes and they're only short, but threadies have five and they're massive and they, they spread them out really wide. People think that threadfin salmon use them to feel along the bottom, but they don't. They put them out there because they're like antennae picking up all the different vibrations and everything that's going on in the water. So the water can be really dirty, like the water that we're fishing in this video, but the threadies know everything that's going on because they can feel it. And by bouncing that soft plastic on the bottom, lifting it off, swimming it a little bit, and then bouncing again, every time it hits the bottom, it's making a noise. It makes another noise. And the threadies know it's getting further away or it's getting closer and they feel it coming before it gets there, so they're ready for it. Their body's tense, they're pounced, they're ready to go, they, they know something small is coming and they know it's probably edible, and then as soon as that plastic comes into vision, they nail it. The secret is bounce it along the bottom. That's why Vibes work so well with Threadfin Salmon. And hanging around to the end of the video, and I'll show you the plastics and I'll show you the Vibes that work really well for them also.
cracking fish. Yeah. Isn't that 75? Oh, absolutely. So look, you can see how easy that is. He's using really light spin gear. His rod's only a three to four kilo rod. He's got an Alvi Orbiter spin reel, and that's right, Alvi makes spin reels now, and they're fantastic. They've got a big handle on them. They're great when you're using light tackle as well, because you can really get some muscle in on a fish with the size of those big handles. So they're a great outfit. But look, use any spin gear you like, but keep it really light, because you can throw these little plastics an absolute mile, and that's what he's working on. He's using the Berkeley, they're a, they're a four inch grub and they're called a green prawn. Look, you don't, ha don't have to use Berkeley. I'm not saying use Berkeley, we do. We're not sponsored by Berkeley or anything, we just like them. So use whatever you want, but something similar to that is all you need. But the trick is, he's putting them on a quarter inch jig head, so it taps the bottom and those big flutes on those thread fin salmon are picking up that vibration and honing in on that lure. The other thing a lot of guys use, and we don't necessarily use them, I used to use them in the Brisbane River when the water was really deep, but I don't have to when I'm only fishing one or two metres of water up here in Weeper, but the vibes. The flutes will pick up on the vibrations that these put out. Lift them up and get them vibrating, drop them back down again. Lift them up, get them vibrating, drop them back down again. Let them tap the bottom when they drop and the fish will find them. That's a uh, Zurich vibe. I love that color too, the little uh, red and white Zurich vibe. I think the Zurich vibe is only a 20 gram. It's a 23 gram, I think. But if you're fishing a bit deeper water, um, you can get bigger 30 gram vibes. This is another vibe that I really like. It's the Berkeley Shimmer, and that's in the Shad pattern. The Shad pattern's got a little tail on it. Really good lure as well. Look, the vibes are fantastic, but we don't worry about them. As Cody showed, he's only fishing one or two meters of water. He's lifting the rod tip up, swimming the lure for a little bit, and then tapping it back down on the bottom so the fish knows it's coming, and that's a trick. Let them know you're coming, and you'll catch plenty of them.